It is 13 Friends for Life Day. Time to remind your friend for life to know her normal. That includes everything from scheduling her yearly mammogram to knowing what's normal for her. And if you've recently had a COVID-19 vaccine, you might want to hear this. There are reports that the vaccine can mimic symptoms of breast cancer. And join me, joining me now to talk more about this is Dr. Andrew Jameson, an infectious disease specialist with Mercy Health, and also Dr. Jamie Karin, a breast surgical oncologist also with Mercy Health. Dr. Jameson, we're gonna start with you. Why is the COVID vaccine causing lymph nodes um, to swell? Yeah, it's a really good question. And I think the biggest thing people should take away from this is that it's pretty normal and actually a good sign. So when, you're, when your lymph nodes swell, that typically means your body's immune system is responding to something. And that's exactly what we want to have happen with the COVID-19 vaccine. We want your body to respond to it, get ready to fight it off if it ever actually sees COVID-19. So the first thing to know is that that is relatively normal and very expected and actually a positive sign. Uh, we do know that around 11 to 15 percent of people will get some vaccine response in terms of their lymph nodes enlarging. Um, the vast majority of those will go away within a few days. Uh, there's a small proportion of people that will actually have lymph nodes that stay large a little bit longer. And I think that's where some of this discussion kind of came from. And, and possibly why they're saying maybe wait four to six weeks after getting the vaccine before scheduling that mammogram. Yeah, there's, there's around a 03 to 0.5% risk that people's lymph nodes can stay large longer and that uh, those can be visible only on imaging or sometimes uh, be present when you can feel them yourself. And what we don't want happening is someone going in for a, a scheduled uh, screening mammogram uh, and then have to get follow-up or some kind of invasive procedure in response to something that was expected uh, and that we were really kind of looking for. And, and uh, we want to avoid that scenario. And Dr. Coffrin, um, it's also recommended that you let your doctor know which arm you were vaccinated in and why would that information be important to you? So when we do a regular screening mammogram, we take two views, one top down and one kind of from the side and the side view can catch some of the lymph nodes on it. So certainly when you come for your screening mammogram, if you've had a vaccination, I would mention that to the technologist and just say which arm you had and how long ago it was because we might catch some of those lymph nodes on the film and that would be just expected. And then Dr. Karin, of course, we don't want those lymph nodes to go on forever being swollen, right? There's a point in time where you have to say, mm, maybe this isn't just a reaction to the vaccine. What's your recommendation on that? So like you said, we want people to know they're normal and that's why we do the 13 friends for life. So I really want women to get to know what their normal breast tissue feels like. It's really unusual for a woman to feel a lymph node underneath her arm that would be associated with breast cancer. Usually you would feel a mass in the breast first and then the cancer could move to the lymph nodes, but this is totally different than the regular screening population. So if you are feeling something underneath your um, arm that's not going away after a couple of weeks, certainly I would let your doctor know. Um, we have ways in imaging to work these things up without invasive procedures by using ultrasound. And certainly there's ways that we can look at lymph nodes and determine if they're reactive or potentially cancerous. So if there is a problem that persists, you would come in, we do what we call a diagnostic mammogram where we will work up the problem when you come in and hopefully avoid a biopsy. But certainly letting everyone know if you've had that vaccine, which arm it is, will help us troubleshoot what's going on on your pictures. Thank you both for giving me some of your time today to talk about this, as I know it's making headlines and we've had a lot of questions from our viewers. If you would like more information on breast cancer, support groups for breast cancer, go to our Facebook page and like it.